If you've been wondering where to get the behind the scenes, my barbecue game, my Chiefs game, you have to come over to Instagram. We're doing a lot of really cool things, still talking sales, still talking marketing, still talking leadership, but come on over to Jake underscore Dunlap underscore if you wanna get behind the scenes on everything in sales and marketing. What's going on everyone? Weekly recap number 74. I am Jake Dunlap, CEO of Scaled, but hopefully my friends, you already know that. Uh, special message, make sure you mark this time in your calendar, 9 a.m. Eastern, every week we are bringing you what's new, what's exciting. This week, we're on the road. We're hanging out in Chicago. We're gonna talk a little bit about travel, This week's Jake Take, we're talking about traveling, right? Everyone's favorite topic. Look, I love to travel, but the advice that I wanna give everyone is when you're traveling, you don't have to be so grumpy. Give someone a smile. Say, hey, let me help you out with your bag. So many people think that traveling is such a grind. It's all internal. Make sure you give someone a smile. Tell the flight attendant that they're doing a great job. And then, God forbid, maybe wait your turn. Just wait your turn, the Uber's gonna take 20 minutes anyway. So my friends, if you're out there, you're traveling, you're doing it a lot, have a good time, enjoy the experience. And in this week in Awesome, what I like to do is highlight things from this week, things over the last couple of weeks that I've found like particularly interesting that I think you'll think is interesting. So this week we did a post where we talked about some of our highlights um, over the last year in terms of what's performing. And I thought it'd be really interesting is just to share with all of you what some of those posts were. It's literally every single one were text only posts. Like almost all of them were over a hundred words. Right? And what that tells you is like, look, people are interested. People wanna read what you have to say. Two of them were ones that I actually wrote on a plane about travel and other things. So what's important to know is, look, the audience varies. Sometimes I like to write content for CEOs, sometimes for account executives. That's fine for you to do as well too. Two were very tactical advice. Multiple were actually lists. And so if you're out there, you're putting out content, don't always worry about it. Don't worry about something going viral. You never know which post is gonna make it big. This week in the news, we're talking about traveling. SAP just released a study where nearly two in three people said that their company lags behind how they treat their employees and their travel. We've got to do a better job of making sure they have the details that they need. 24% of people said that they would rather have a tooth pulled, right, in this study, this is insane, than to fill out an expense report. My friends, we've got to do a better job of how we treat people and their travel. Remember, every week, it, no matter where you are on the internet, if you type in hashtag AskJakeAnything, I will do my best to answer your questions. I've got a really good one. Looking for advice, best way to tell a boss that your workload is full and at capacity. Given the circumstances, I've already shared this with him on multiple occasions. My bosses are great and very willing to work with me, but they just keep giving me more work. I don't wanna come off as a lazy millennial. I love that. I've been putting in 50, 60 hours per week um, for more than a year. So here's what's really important to understand. Your bosses don't want you to feel overworked. And many times you might voice it and it may not be at the decibel level that they need to hear. So when you're like, hey, I'm really busy. That's not what your boss might hear. So what you need to do is go to your boss and you need to have your top three projects or three priorities and help them to see your, net, your plan for your next 60 days. So go to your boss and you say, look, here's what I have on my plate. This, this, here's my plan to solve it. Okay, this is what it is but unfortunately there's these other things. How would you suggest I prioritize or reprioritize? So you have to bring them all the facts, help them help you. That's my take for this, is that if you do a good job of telling them what your priorities are, how you're force ranking them, what, what would be left off, then they can better help you. That's this week's Ask Jake Anything, hashtag Ask Jake Anything. In this week's Get It Done, this is the section where I'm putting a very tactical and actionable challenge out to all of you. So for this week, my challenge is meet one extra customer face to face, right? There's the things that we don't enjoy about traveling. There's the expense reports, there's all of it. But the data shows that you will actually close more deals as well. Although travel can be difficult, et cetera, it is mission critical for all of us in marketing and sales. Weekly recap, number 74. Man, it's cold as f Let's go. I'm out. <laughs>